Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is to talk about Google Chrome once again. So my um, uh, Google has actually answered back where to fix tonight. So um, those of you that actually have the problem with Google Chrome, they are now actually suggesting that you simply open Chrome. So if you have problems and you haven't done any changes, nothing, um, Google says just open the Chrome browser and leave it at the blank page that you see for at least five minutes. Once that happens, they tell you to shut down Chrome and then to actually launch Chrome again. And apparently that is gonna fix your problem that you have. But you have to leave Chrome open at least five minutes with whatever blank page that you see to fix the problem. So uh, they actually um, were answering back. Uh, apparently Linux users also have this problem. So it's uh, Linux and Windows problem. Apparently maybe not Mac um, on uh, the problem that they actually have shown. So this is kind of interesting because uh, they say that they have been um, actually told of the problems uh, yesterday, started looking into it and was uh, wondering what. So apparently there's some kind of update that actually happens and it fixes the problem. And the problem, it's interesting because it, it's not going to, you know, if you go to help in about Google Chrome, it's not going to update your Chrome. You're going to be at the same version here. But apparently one of the folders within the Chrome app data folder will be actually updated to a, uh, a different number, a different version number. And once that actually happens, this is where it actually fixes Chrome. So it's a weird fix of some sort, but it actually uh, seems to be what fixes the problem. So this has been updated later today. And uh, it's kind of interesting to see that uh, we had that. It's interesting because, you know, I talk a lot about how Windows, uh, people complain about Windows problems. And I often say, you know, uh, um, the majority of problems that people complain about Windows are not even Windows problems. They're problems with something else, a driver, a software that you have, uh, bad, you know, crapware that manufacturers put in. Uh, and so on. And what happens is that people, of course, what do they see in their faces? Windows. And they start complaining that Windows is always the problem. Well, this is a perfect example. Because the first um, problems that I've seen, the first comments that I've seen was, well, okay, that was crappy because since I moved to 21H1, Google Chrome doesn't work. Yep, has nothing to do with moving to 21H1. It has to do with only Chrome. It's just a coincidence. And that happens often. Quincid you know, when uh, as a tech guy, so many times I've seen problems like that, that, yeah, you, you update this, you do that, but it has nothing to do with the problem you're having. It's just that it's a coincidence, and it happened at the same time. So, of course, you know, as we often do, we put 1 plus 1 equals 2. Okay, well, that update, that Windows update is, uh, screwed everything up again. Uh, well, in this case, is one of those features, one of those things that happen here. So once again, the fix is to close Chrome, then open Chrome, leave it on whatever page, blank page it's actually seeing, and wait, and they are saying, wait at least five minutes. And, uh, well, apparently, once you shut it down and start it again, it's back to normal. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos on this channel.